Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay. Last left off, we are in the Room of Requirement, and nope, I guess it looks like things don't follow real time for harvesting, so that's okay. Um, I kind of figured that would be the case, but let's go ahead and conjure up um, some other stuff. I think it, we would like to make another, let's see, I think it's utility, and we're looking for material refiner. So, let's see. Looks like we can only build three total. I think I might move over here. There's enough space. I need to start looking at how layouts work for the place. And let's see, can we relocate this one? Yeah, here we go. Oh good, it retained its materials, so I was a little bit worried that it might not. Well, we may have to move this lamp first. Nope, don't want to do the walls. There we go. And... Now let's move this guy back if we can. Nope. Okay. Let's see. Hey, we can move even further back. I wonder if this one will let us move like that too. Nope, not quite. Okay. That may be a little bit wonky, but at least we get them all together this way. And let's see, what else can we do? Um, hopping pots are mismatched, so let's see about changing the appearance or the color. Oh, maybe actually let's try it. There we go. Huh. Didn't seem to actually make a difference. wonder if this is a glitch. Because it's acting like it's going to change it, but then it doesn't actually do it. Weird. So we can disable snapping, but... I should have probably left that where it was. Okay. Okay. So those are all happily working. And let's see, what else can we do? The sky's over there. And this is our potion station. And our little growing plant area. Let's see if we can... I think I don't want to move the plants all out. So let's take this into the other room. And treat it kind of like a greenhouse. Kind of put it opposite here. Okay, almost got some Dittany ready. And I think I'd like to have potions over there too. Like I'm gonna keep raw minerals in this area being manufactured or stuff that's automatic and then things that need to like cook over in this area. All right, let's see what else there is. So potions we can get, all right, this is a medium and a small. I don't think we've unlocked any of the mediums, have we? And then there's T-shaped. It has three burners. So that's interesting. Um, I wonder how many galleons I have in my account right now. I don't actually know how to tell, but let's fly over to Hogsmeade and 
see what we can get. We don't want to go to the potions, we want to go to tomes and scrolls. Okay, there we go. Hogsmeade, here I come. The tales of Beetle the Ooh, I'm having some frame rate dri dips, rather. Yeah, I'm wanting to get a good setup with this so that I don't have to worry about ingredients Let's or look at what we have, shall relying we? on anybody for anything particular. Alright, T-shaped, and then medium potions, and then potting table, potting tables. I've got 3,000, so T-shapes are 2,000, so I could get the potion set basically completed. Um... Hundred T shape. Hmm. I wonder if that's one of each. I bet that's what that is. So maybe I could get that in another flower pot design. Beast feeder, beast, chopping station, plant byproduct. Ooh. Actually, that might be a good idea to get those. Yeah, maybe I should get these instead. Um, I could get. The T-shaped one and fertilizer, so that'd be three thousand. Nothing and like finding just the right thing, is there? We'll save up for a chopping station. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. All right, let's see. I don't think we have any gear to sell, though, so we'll check while we're in here. Yep, already sold off all our clothes. So let's head over to um, our room of requirement again and we'll do just a little bit more setup as a warm up and we'll go back to um, a quest of some sort. I'm thinking today will be a good day to hit up a few side quests because I'm feeling a little bit loaded loaded up with them. I'd like to get some more done. Alright, so T-shaped thing is going to go over here with our potions and we need to go into our conjuring and let's look at our T-shaped potions. There we go. We'll go with the scientific. Oh wow. It says have a little bit of everything, doesn't it? Alright, nice. Let's see what we can make on it. Well, I we can make plenty of Wigan Weld, but we're down to 10 on that. And then this one, we can't make anything. So we'll just keep it as is for now. And we do want to get the composter going. Hey, there's something. Let's see if any of these are ready. They're almost ready. So this isn't here. Must be down a tab. And since this is going to generate stuff, I think we want to go ahead and get all three of them if we can. Okay, we'll plop this one down for the minute. And then we'll do alterations to move these things around. Oh, this is getting a little bit weirdly stuck. I think it's stuck because I'm moving it close to where it currently is. Let's try it here. Maybe this will work now. Oh well, it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll just pop it down for the moment. Oh, it's really working that poop around, isn't it? <laughs> okay. 
so what else we got? Um, so hopping pots are going, and once I collect from these, we'll make them all scientific looking for fun. Scientific alcove. No. Oh. I think I want to keep everything scientific for now. Oh, and I missed something that I could have ever nested. There we go. Looks like you can't do that. Okay, let's try ever nested next here. Oh, still won't let me do it, so here we go. Now we'll conjure up the right thing. Okay, good. Alright, so we got all those going. I feel like there's something else that we want to conjure while we're here. Um, we got their T-shaped, and we got a small one, and then medium. We'll just leave that alone because we just don't have enough to really make. Nerbology, we have small pots that we could do. We got medium potting tables, which we haven't unlocked yet. And then there's large, which we already have going. And there's the composters. These must be really big. Look at how this is compared to these others. Okay, and then chopping stations. So nothing there yet. All right. That right, may be about all we need to do for the moment. Um, so I think we're ready for a quest. Let me just see how we're doing on plant growing. One well, of these things might be ready now. There you go. Um, you know, that's another thing I need to buy, too, are seeds, because I don't think that I've bought many of the seeds yet. So after we get through, um, this next place, we'll go ahead and buy some seeds, too. Okay, let's check our quest. Oh, let's get through our collections first, too. There's our T-shaped potion station and our dung composter. All right. Flight test. After completing my broom flight training in Madame Kogawa's flying class, Everett mentioned checking in with Albie Weeks at Sprint Spent Witches to get a broom. Oh, that'd be pretty nice. Um, yeah, I think I'd actually like to go ahead and do that. But I guess there's going to be a cost to it though um we can find out what the price is i suppose i'm assuming it won't be on the house <laughs> i may be made to regret spending all my money on the does it get any room of requirement gear Ah, oh, new face! Wonderful! Ah, oh, some Rebellion. loot. Wonderful. Oh, here's some more loot. We'll sell back his own stuff to Hello. him. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do 
you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the u ones darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? First off, we're going to sell you some stuff that you just gave me. Here nice doing business with you. Okay, I guess these are equal, but they have upgrade slots, so I'm going to hold on to them a little bit longer. 600, 600, 600, 600. Those with a fiery temperament, broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Ah, interesting. So I guess this one would have like a Ravenclaw logo. Oh. Moon Trimmer, finally crushed from ash. This broom is built for stability. Silage broom with a light touch, quite literally. And let's see. A U Weaver. Um, let's preview that item out of curiosity. Is the highest quality. Oh cool. You get to kinda turn the camera around a little bit. Kinda like the fire on it. That item is of the highest quality. I bet it is. Oh, I see the little saddle on it too. Does this other one have a saddle? Nope. It's kind of interesting looking. I like the handle up here in front, the little lantern. That item is of the highest quality. And then this is the moon trimmer. It's got some storage on it too. That's cool. And this one has the Ravenclaw logo on it. I guess there's nothing that item is the keeping me from quality. buying them all. Okay, I just need to get the money, so 400 galleons. Thanks for stopping by. We'll come back to and see you again. get on when we can. Let's see what other quests we can look at. Uh, let's see, endurance potion and a focus potion. So these are it. And then find potions and recipes at J Pippins. Okay, that's gonna take money too. So maybe we could go ahead and do this delivery one and with it having some gold tied to it who knows maybe it'll be enough then we could do that um quest that has love in the title if this ends up not being enough money or whatever Revelio. all right Come on in. Healing I'll really this guy. here should you need any Oh, he looks similar to the broomstick, dude. Oh, haha. -ha. J. Pippin's potions. Established in 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade. Oh, accidentally hit spacebar and that dismissed it. Guess we'll read it again later. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Okay. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay. Wow, 2,000 away. Let's see how we can get over there. Whoa. That's a ways away. I guess uh, we'll start here and see if we can get some waypoints on the way over.
probably regretting not having that broom. Not sure right how it'd fare in a little place like this. Okay, well that took us about halfway there. If we see something easy to grab on the road, we'll we'll do it. If not, we'll just uh, keep going. Switch to combat mode too, just in case we wanted some bumps. I see some Rebellion. something over that way. Ah, oh, just spiders. It's like spiders everywhere, actually. See what we got here now. Revelio. Hoping to see these are okay, just spiders. Oh. They noticed me. Levioso. Accio. Incendium. Expelliarmus. There we go. Kabooey. No thanks. I don't know how much deviating from the path will pay off or not, so. There we go. Kablam. Eight legs is simply too many. <laughs> Rebellion. Hmm, can't see from the assistance. Okay, we're nearly halfway there as far as distance yeah. I needed to travel manually. Never did finish this Merlin's oh, quest. I wonder if it'd be any easier by now with the levels that I've uh, acquired since then. Terry reroute to go on that other road was kind of funny. I guess my wizard GPS is a little bit broken. Here's a Merlin trial. I wonder if we already solved this one. Could it be a Merlin trial? This looks like another one where you gotta lure the flies into the thing. Yep, that's totally what it is. Lumos. Come here, little buddy. There we go. the others. Ah, here's a patch. Lumos. Gotta cast it every time you jump. There you go. Oh, I hope it's not daylight it's coming. Uh let's see. Gotta find one more. Revelio. Oh, I think I see it over here. Yeah. Lumos. Come on, slam dunk him. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, back to the quest. It's like just about 200 out, so that's good. Down to the last 10% of the overall trip. Oh, any sunflowers? Cool. What a detailed landscape everything is, it's crazy. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Okay then. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Man, these prices are expensive. Good thing I'm brewing my own stuff. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Let's see, is there anything here to pick up while we're at it? Looks like that one's locked away. Definitely some goodies we could have had. Wonder who lives here. Oh yeah. Drink that butter beer. Um Oh here's a fast travel. Definitely wanna hit that up before we leave. What are you up to now? What do you have in store for me this time? So it makes me think that we gotta hop in the water. Maybe not. I didn't see anything change. What did this one? Like, did it work? Oh, I see there's. Mm -hmm. Actually, I see nothing. Oh, here's big orb thing. I bet this is part of it. I wonder if I need my guardian nebulosa. Yeah, I don't see that coming out easily. I'll have to look up how to do these. Rebellion. Maybe I can get in this house and steal some stuff. I need money. I need money. Don't mind if I do. Oops. 
Valio. Yeah, let's kind of terrorize while I'm over here. Stealing all their stuff. Oh, this might be something over here. Maybe this shack. Opposite side. Yep. Ah, oh, something unidentified. I can swing by the room of requirement. Sure I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. Let's go. Oh, there's something back here too. Nice. Potion recipe book. Huh. I wonder if I have to like roll this down the hill, make it jump. That'd be pretty funny. We'll go ahead and try it. So I think there's a chance that that's what's needed for this one. Can you not clear this? Apparently not. Doesn't really seem to want to move. Weird. Levioso. Hmm. Maybe it's stuck. Alright. Time to go to J. Pippins. Um, let's check our inventory first. Got that potion book. Okay, let's head on over. We should put this right on top of the store. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. There we go. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? If it is, she doesn't deserve it back. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. <laughs> Oh, well, that's funny. Wonder if that's gonna come back on me somehow. <laughs> hey, we leveled up. Nice. And we got 300 gold, so maybe we have enough now to uh, do something. Let's see. Where can I tell how much money I have? Maybe it's on gear? Yep, 610. So I think that's enough to get my broom. If it is, maybe we'll fly it back to Hogwarts. Um, there's some random money just laying around. Alright, where are we? You're back. Nice to see you again. 
Okay, let's see. This one has a fire. I that this item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Kind of like the wind wisp. It looks kind of rugged or something. I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot, but I think I'll get this one. I also like that it has a headlamp on it. That broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers maneuver the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I'm assuming in certain areas prohibit flying. Look for the no flying icon. Okay. Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. I think I'll try flying there if I can. As soon as I get out Hogsmeade, of the no-fly zone. Here I come. If you enter an area that allows flight, press L1 and tap circle. Ah, okay, there we go. Oh, seem to have slowed down. I wonder if it's the elevation change that they're talking about slowing down. So if we get lower, I wonder if it'll pick up again. There we go. That's probably what it was. Just like he was talking about. This is definitely a much faster way to travel around, I'll tell you that. Oh, nice. Quidditch pitch. Rebellion. 
just wondering if there's any anything here together, but I don't see anything. Let's try doing this. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albi Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Okay. Actually, let's do why it. not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I have no idea how I'll do on this. We'll try. Made it. Oopsie. I don't know why. Uh, oh, okay. Now that's more like it. So I say, oh no, I'm not making any progress, but it's because I wasn't holding forward. I feel like I'm doing okay, Tom Lewis. This is rather fun. Okay, this is feeling pretty good. Brilliant. Stuff off the horse there. Did it. Brilliant. Oh, miss all those boosters. Hopefully, I don't need them. Wandering left. Oh, did anyone else see that? <laughs> well, let's see, where is she? Uh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Oh fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. We'll see about that. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Okay. 
I guess we'll go back to Alpi and uh, I think that we'll fly over there just for fun. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I never thought someone would ever. Oh, I guess we're experiencing that. Oh, that elevation issue. So let's try lowering a bit. See if it speeds us up. Guess it doesn't apply for races. Oh, there we go again. Come on, speed me up. I wonder if they did this intentionally to uh, make it so that people are less tempted to uh, fly These high. These have seen better have days. Issues, you know. Interesting way to implement it. It's just like a little force field. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hmm. Okay. We're awfully close. Maybe before I go to the next flight, we'll go to our room of requirement and, uh, Empty out everything. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Mm. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Okay, let's see. I think we had at least. Yeah, there we go. Okay, time for the room of requirement. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Sandwiches, sporting needs. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks, the shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest spring models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working out a number of broom enhancements. Okay. Let's uh, go to our secret room and then we'll do some more races. I guess they're time trials, technically. Since I'm not competing with anybody live. Here we go. Alright, time to fill up. See, we also need to identify some clothing that we got. Dapper Teal Ensemble.
Oh good, plus two, and it also has a trait. Actually, let's read what that trait was. It was Protego shielding one, increased damage taken from dark wizards. Okay. Well, that's something. We got four points that we can distribute. So, where are we at now? Level 16. Can't take any of those yet. Can't take any of those. Let's see, the core ones. We've already done check of those. Okay. I just don't know if I care that much about stealth to use a whole point on it. Hmm. I feel like I should spend one or two, but kind of like to save one for some of these really cool spells. Okay. Let's check out our um, quest again, and I do think I want to do one of the time trials, because it'd be kind of neat to knock all those out. One thing I don't know is, there's a Quidditch cup area over here. Nope, it doesn't have its own warp point. That's interesting. I guess that's the closest we got. It's too bad the game didn't release with uh, Quidditch implemented, but the way that the brain controls are, it's kind of no wonder, you know? Oh, I see the stamina meter now on the uh, flying fast. Okay, then. I don't know why I didn't notice it earlier. All right. Let's see. I assume I don't have to become number one, do I? Do you think if we asked Char, she'd let us go up earlier? Tonight? Oh, I wonder if this other one shows up on a different part of the uh, map or something. She said it was at Iron Dell. I don't know where that's at, but maybe that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Let's see, what is this? Oh, Jack Hall's tomb, okay. I don't see anything, it looks like a racing event. Maybe I have to beat that time of 132 or something. She lives for it. Huh. Um And have you seen how these professors look at your clothes? Black looks I guess let's try it again. Excellent. I guess I had to hit nearly every one of these to beat that time. It's gonna be hard. Place has seen better days. Did it. Okay, let's see. Brilliant. Hmm. Brilliant. 
Oh. Okay, I wouldn't be off by what, five seconds maybe? Just four. Okay. I've got this. Well that's better. I wonder if just getting on the leaderboard is enough. I'm not sure I was on it before. Uh uh let's see. Okay, let's try again. Four seconds. to cut corners as much as I can. Oh, oh. It's definitely tricky. So far ahead. Oh, I missed that one, that's gonna be my penalty, probably. Oh, oh. Yep, not enough. Wow. I don't know how they do it. It's crazy. So I wonder if the next trial comes later because I don't think I saw anything on the quest markers or anything, so. Okay. Let's just do this one then. Um, Ghost of Our Love. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. Okay, I think it is probably not marked. Yep. Okay. So, inventory, I believe. Map of floating candles. Okay. Hmm. Maybe the Forbidden Forest or something? I'm not sure I want to go out seeking it though. I think I'd rather save that one for a little bit later since it's just an appearance. And um, Now this one, acquire and use a focus potion, J. Pippin's potions, and acquire maximum and endurance potions and use them simultaneously. Um, yeah, we get Depulso, so maybe we could do that and then we'll do the main quest one, time permitting, so. Let's just do a fast travel over to Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Okay, what do we need? Holy moly, 1,200 for these. Well, I guess we don't have money for that. So we really need to get these recipes too, because that's going to be a lot of cost. I hope to see um, you again. Well, I guess on to the main quest then. Too expensive for my blood, bro. Uh, there we go. Oops, I should probably track the quest. Okay, 
it looks like maybe this one's closest. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Uh huh. Here we go. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. All right, secret room, cool. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Aha. Uh -huh. Professors don't know about it. Sure. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play God's all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in me. He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Hmm. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay, Confringo. So you've got triangle X, X, square. Oops, almost got caught. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the Where we want to put this one. Hmm. 
about over Expelliarmus for now. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Revelio, have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice. nice. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You're getting to cool. Oh, I guess I already got that one. Okay. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Hmm. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, here we go. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. 
Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Wow. He didn't take that very well, did he? Okay. Let's see. I'm guessing new quests are about to pop up, so we'll give it a second. Hmm. There we go. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Spin, spin, spin. Let's see what else we have. Guess it's time to travel back to the rumor requirement and gather some more stuff real fast. Maybe we'll do that mission with uh Big and move on. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Ah, maybe we'll do that instead. Nothing to identify. For now, at least. I wonder if we can add fertilizer to this stuff. Oh, we can. on the, the quest with Professor Garlic. Uh, acquire and use of an enemy's tentacula. Acquire and use of mandrake. Multiple enemies simultaneously. Let's see. I can visit Dogweed and Deathcap for the seeds. I just don't think I have enough money though. That's going to be the problem. Oops. It's actually over here. Yeah, I only have 158. So how am I going to get money? I think we need to spend some of these points. Let's see, Fingo packs produce fiery bolts to seek enemy targets. Sounds pretty rad. Curse effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. Hmm. Let's see what else we have here. Expelling armor is the same effect as a curse on enemies. Okay. Let's try. Let's see, this is stupefied, does that? Hmm. Tempted to do that, but I'm gonna look in the core a little bit more. Makes it cast, reduce spell cooldowns. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Well, this sounds worth getting. And allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Well, that could be fun to teleport. Perfect Protego. I think it, that'll be fun. And then here's another spell set, so we'll go ahead and get it to you. Okay. We'll keep all those other things as they are. All right, so the map chamber. I guess we do need to go to Fig to have a chance here at getting something. And looks like the closest might be here. Looks like there's a treasure somewhere nearby. If it isn't the treasure. Hmm. 
Yeah, talking about the treasure hunting and I found that uniform. That was funny. That yeah, was a fun little quest. Still feel like there's something in this room that I couldn't get before. I wonder if I could now. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. <laughs> Here we go. Wonder what's going to happen. To see you both. I feel like something bad could happen. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Okay. Well, this is super cool. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. 
the location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Okay. Guess it's time to head out to that tower. We'll at least get up there, park. Maybe we'll uh, go. Actually, start the uh, quest after. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. I think that we'll fast travel to here, and then we'll. Um, Get on the broomstick and fly the rest of the way. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. I'll think about it. See, can we get up ahead of these trees? Oh, something interesting. Oh, that is.
Oh, there's a lot of enemies over here. Wow. A lot of stuff. This is a creepy tower, too. Hmm. I can see a treasure or something up over this way. Oh, bunch of goblins. Probably don't want to do that right now. There we go. San Bacar's Tower. Interesting. Well, we'll start it. Maybe we'll Over here. do a little bit of it. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. Okay, well, looks like a good reason to have the stealth talent upgraded, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll turn on this one. No sense in announcing our arrival. We use Petrificus Totalis on as many of them as we can. I don't think I should need to eat again till next week. Quickly now. Alright, here we go. Now is this a pop-up about Petrificus Totalis? Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalis. <laughs> well done. Sif is a feather, lad is a board. Hopefully we'll find a bit of money up here, man. I need money bad. Can't believe how hard it is to get it. Oh. Guess I can't climb. Wonder if something's gonna set things off and have to fight anyways. Guess we'll get this guy over here. We'll get this one. Let's keep making our way through. I think this guy may have dropped something. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, this day's gone on too long. There we go. Nice. Revenue. Orders directly from Ranrock. Search the tower and the surrounding area. That they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Look for anything to do with the names. What you find here could be the key to Goblin Kind finally taking its rightful place in the world. Ranrock. All right. Let's see. We got two more. Oh. They found me. I will draw blood. That's what you think, buddy. <laughs> nice. 
I feel like that went really well. Okay. Rebellio. Got to be some stuff around here before we go to the tower. I guess we'll go ahead and play a little bit longer. This has been exciting. After a long stream of not much it's excitement. It's more than mere coincidence that we encountered Ranlock's loyalists here. Probably. I guess they're saving the good stuff for inside of the tower, huh? Here's something. Revelio. Can't imagine the goblins know about the trials. They know that something is significant about this place, though. I wonder if Rainer Alf is going to barge through the... after I do my magic. It's locked. Levioso. Revelio. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. All right, give me the money. I see a bag of money up here too. Oh, there's something about that statue too. Let's look at it. I'm a little bit afraid of doing anything. I'm guessing it's going to open a I wonder who this portal. Is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Guessing it's supposed to be Merlin. Revelio. Hmm. Oh, a couple more things up here. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sam Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Okay. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. Huh. Ah, some of these aren't lit. Incendio! I guess I can't actually let them know. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some of this quest. Maybe not get through all of it, but we'll see. Revelio. Nothing. Ooh, this looks scary. Hmm. First of all, Rackham's I've trial. seen this before. 
in Gringotts and the restricted section. Revelio. It's like nothing yet. No sign of treasures or anything. Looks like we have some staircases leading down. Perhaps. Okay. Impressive. That must have done something. Best have a look around. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be a fight. I bet there's going to be a fight, I should say. Okay, we got some Wigan welds. I'm up to 21, actually. That's funny. Okay. This looks ominous. Rebellion. Oh, yep, yeah, this will be a fight. Not sure how hard, but looks like it could be decently hard. Might have this potion on hand just in case. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Ah, uh, okay. There's another, looks like this gate opened up. Okay. Revelio. Show me loot. Nothing. Hmm. Looks like a lot of sentinels in here to fight. Whatever their These names are. Never are. a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Confringo. Levioso. Potato. Stupid. Accio. Incendio. See, I probably need to get my other combat spell set going. So let's make this one actually be that. And what else can we do? I think Confringo would be a good one. Incendio may not be the best for this. Um, Levioso, how about that? Hmm. Think if there's anything else I can do, but I don't think so. Levioso, Confringo, Accio. Hmm. Somehow I ended up not getting the uh, thing I wanted set. So this is Expelliarmus. It's on the right one. What happened here? Um, okay, we got Fringo, and we want this. Okay. Potato. I think we'll try to take out the little guy first. Confringo. Fringo's working out pretty nicely, Let's actually. Accio. Good. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Levioso. Accio. He can punch it quite a bit once you get it down on the ground. Confringo. That's cool. 
Nice. Okay, it looks like we have multiple chambers what the here. Keepers planned for me? Uh oh. It scared me a little bit. Ah, oh, darn, it's a downgrade. Didn't think that'd happen after a epic battle like that, but I guess it does, huh? I didn't have to use my potion yet, either. I feel like there could be something hidden in here, but Felio doesn't seem to agree with me. These look familiar. Revelio. Okay. Looks like the old Accio people. to take it from here though. Do we have another platform? It's gotta be something. Accio. Rebellion. That looks like a chest, but how do I get to it? And there's definitely one over there too. Was it Akio I used before? Akio. There's no getting to that one. It's not an easy way that I can tell right away. Rebellion. Hmm. Maybe I'll just continue on in the dungeon. Maybe I can come back and get those later or something. Okay, what do we got here now? Oh, I think the room changed. I wonder if these are the same um, as before. Accio. I bet that's what it was. I assume I just need to head over to this other spot. What did that burst of magic do? More statues. Accio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Do the old Zappity Zap on this one. Why not? Expelliarmus. Confringo. Nice. Made short work of him. This easy on me. Okay, let's see. Revelio. I'm feeling it could be a chest down in the low area or something. Maybe. Hey, there's some one up high. Looks like. Okay, it looks I like presume it's I'm looking for traces of ancient magic, but where? Oh, there they are. Accio. Looks like I just have to be on the platform for this one. That's interesting. What did I guess that? Ah, okay. So things have changed again. Let's see. So it'd be ideal if that platform was on the other side when we did that. Hmm. But 
I don't see a way to get over there. Wonder if I fell down here, what would happen? There's another statue. And it's just a pool to move me around, so I can't do anything with that. Um, maybe I'm supposed to go through that portal, but it's not 100% clear. It's Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's just try. Hmm. I don't think I changed anything. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Maybe I go back? Something must be different. Oh, okay. That's not the way. There's the ancient magic again, but... Huh. I feel like I'm not doing something quite right yet. I wonder if I can somehow... Drag this, maybe? Maybe I can drag it through here? Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. See, it's weird because this like solidifies when I get close to it. Maybe it's a glitch, but... Hmm. You'd say explore the archway from both sides. So maybe I entered it the same way twice and I need to go the other way. Don't know for sure though. Let's see. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe I do this again? Oh, it's turned red now. Ah, there we go. That's what I needed to do. Okay. Now I can get it over and ride it, I think. Uh, let's see. Maybe I have to guide it over here first and then use the bridge. But that's what it's gotta be done. That makes the most sense. Okay, now I'll try bringing the bridge back. There we go. I think that's on the right side and I can ride it back now. Ah, interesting. So, somehow getting over to that treasure, there's a trick to it. Huh. I don't want to give up so easily because I bet it's something good. Let's try again. Okay. One moment. All right. So there's that, but I don't have a clear way to get over there. Wonder if I can like somehow step over. K. 
okay, and this is the version where everything's gone. I can see the version with the bridge. The version with the bridge does not have that. Hmm. I can't think of an easy way to do this. Like, I wonder... There's gotta be a spell or something that I'm not thinking to use here. Let's look around and see if there's anything else I can interact with. But I don't think there is. It's too bad I can't. Um, let me go look on this side again. I feel like there's the section where it's in the middle. If I can reach that somehow. I could get over there. No, that's not any different. So let's see. I wonder if I have to go to the trace of ancient magic. There we go. Okay, now let's see. So that's gone. Yeah, yeah, I see no clear way. I mean Maybe there's some way. Oops. Didn't mean to do it that way. Maybe there's some way I could pull all the way over here and get on it. Maybe I can get on the far side. Oh. No. I don't know why I didn't think to do this. I must be getting tired. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Ah, uh, all that work for something I can't even use. Oh well. We'll sell it for the money. We're getting close to the end of this dungeon. I'll never get used to these floors. Okay, some money. Revelio. I like money. Ooh. Swords are pretty terrible. Oh, this is gonna be a massive fight. Got me with that one. Close. Oh, a little guy. I think we want to get rid of the littles here if we can. Nope, oh, not a magic on that one. Hopefully we'll get something that can recharge us faster. Thank you. 
Seconds. There we go. I'll finish him off with style. I don't think there's anything here to collect. Nope. Huh. Well, I want to ride it, but I'm afraid there's going to be something over here, so... Uh, you ready to take this? She doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Puzzle area, I guess. Ah, uh, definitely looks like there's more stuff over there. Well, we can't go that way. So can we pull this one into our side? Hmm. Maybe I can jump on it. I bet that's what I'm supposed to do. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Here we go. That was cool. Didn't take me super long to figure that out, but still a clever puzzle, I think. I don't see there being much more of a fight. I mean, that was a pretty big one, but I guess we'll see soon. Confringo has really been useful. some loot. Ah, only 25 at a time? Are you kidding me? I need at least 50. Don't like the look of this. Confringo! Let's go ahead and knock him right off. Uh oh. 
This is a boss, huh? Oh jeez. Hit the paint save guardian with ancient magic, destroy the orb as it's charging up. Expelliarmus while using uh, the charge up is enough. Seems to not work. Oh, this train is going to take forever. Let's see if I have any gear that'll help me. Yeah, I doubt it, but we'll see. <laughs> Nothing is better. There we go. I wonder if I use ancient magic on it when it's charging, that's gonna be the only way to take it out. It's going to get stronger. I like the dodge. Oh, wow. Holy moly. to get a stupefy and it's like Stupid. dodge running that one Oh, 
That words because I can't seem to get it at all. Solid pumped. There we go. Oof, that was tough. Not this fight yet. What a relief. Alright, hopefully this will be the end of this quest and uh we'll get the credits rolling after that. Another pensive. Revelio. Hmm. I don't want to potentially walk out on something good, so let's just double check this area before we leave. Won't see anything though. Let's go to the pensive. Percival Rackham's memories. Figure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. The pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take.
Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Okay, let's see. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chain. And let this last little part play out. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. Goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Okay, let's go ahead and see what they have to say here. Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world, uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Oh, I'll transition to the fall.
Okay, well, I think that's a perfect place to, uh, well, actually, we're probably going to have a loaded quest come in. Let's see what they say first. Oh, and we got Mel, too. Oh, holy moly. A lot of Mel. Okay, we'll check it out later, I guess. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and pause for now and roll credits. Say thanks for watching. It's been S tier rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.